Should content creators pay their mods? Howdy everyone, my name is SK Pac-Man. I am a mod for Bob, or Meister. I'm a mod in his Discord and his Twitch. Uh, I'm not a mod on the Facebook or the YouTube side, but let's just say I have several years experience with this. I am a content creator myself, obviously. I'm here on YouTube. And I do have moderators on both on Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. Now there's been some discourse where some of them are paying their moderators and some of them aren't. I've been modded for Bob since 2017. It's been seven years. And no, I have not been paid a dime for my service with Bob. And to give you a better idea of what we do, we monitor chat while they're live for any bad actors, for people that are doing bad stuff that are sending links or being terrible in chat or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we also enforce the rules that Bob has set. And this, and this is true for just about every creator is their moderators do the job of watching chat while they're busy gaming or while they're offline or if their community is big enough, one person can't do it all. So that's what us moderators are there for. To make up for when the creator can't be there or is, is too busy to, to do all of it. Being a moderator, what we get out of it is we we get to talk directly with the creator. So we have a private chat for the moderators where Bob's in there and we'll give him information. We'll pass back and forth notes of people in chat to watch out for or, or major security things. And, and it's it, it's basically a part time job. But I personally only have to be present because like, I'm on Discord all day. I can monitor the Discord all day. That's easy. That's not even part of a job, but I have to be present. Don't have to be, but I should be present during the times when Bob is live, whether on YouTube, Twitch or both. That amounts to between three and eight hours a week. Is it hard work? Absolutely not. But there are other creators that demand, not demand, but expect a lot more out of their moderators. And those are the kind of people that should pay their mods. So you've probably heard Thor talk about he pays all his mods. He, all of them have like uh, salaries and medical coverage, dental coverage, all that stuff, like a regular job, like a regular day job. I pay our moderators full time. Not only do they have full time pay, they're on salary. They also get full-time benefits too medical dental vision everything like that's how this place stays cool but those moderators do a lot more than what i do they 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 do full-time job worth of work for thor so i think there's a distinction there between how much work you expect your mods to do and whether you should pay them or not and whether it should be a competitive pay where they could live off of it or if it's just a pocket change where they're paid for, you know, the few hours that they do it. There's a platform out there called Pally.gg and your viewers, if you're a creator, your viewers can send tips to Pally that are distributed to your mods and you can break it up by how much percentage of each tip goes to which moderator and all that stuff. You can work out promotions and things like that through like, like a job, like they can rank up to the next, you know, position, I guess, if you want to call it that just like you would pay an editor or a, a social media coordinator or any of those positions at a big, big company. If you're a content creator and you have those services, you would pay for those. Why not pay for your moderators if you're expecting that much work out of your moderators? And then that begs the question, how do you get moderated for these big channels? It's not a simple cut and dry process. It's for some content, for some content creators, they have a, uh, an application process. They, they announce when they have an opening, they treat it like it's a job. But for most of us, and for most content creators, for most uh, people that are doing this on Twitch and YouTube and whatever, the people who are modded, the people who do the job of moderating, are chosen out of chat after they've been helpful, useful, respectful, 
and they understand the community. They're they're heavily involved in the community itself. So it's not something that you can just ask to be a mod. Um, and it's not something that you have to... That if you just show up over and over and are helpful over and over that you'll get picked. You, it, it's up to the creator to understand who gets you. Who gets... Th- who understands the rules, the the way the creator wants to moderate? It's not it's not a position that should be taken lightly. Overall, do I personally believe content creators should pay their moderators? That's a both a yes and a no. So, yes, if you expect as much work out of your moderators as you do an editor or a social media manager or PR manager. Yes, you should pay them if you can afford to. If, like me, you don't do a whole lot of work, you just show up and make sure chat behaves, I don't think those kinds of moderators should get paid. So, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're a moderator for a channel, let me know who you moderate for, what that environment is like. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, Go say hi to Bob for me. I'll see you next time.